Welcome back, this is the Amma Jack. We got Vulture Man or Gunslinger Suicidal. You know, next week I'm gonna record all 14 episodes on uh, Monday. Yeah, on Monday. Presumably, unless I'm playing D&D on Monday. Um, but I'm gonna record, I don't like being down here for... For your information, I do not appreciate this uh, this spawn location right here. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna record it all on Monday or Tuesday or whenever I end up recording. Look, I'm gonna record it on a day. Next week, there will be a day I record all the episodes, all 14 episodes, and I'm on the same day. I'm going to get up early. I'm going to get up like 6 a.m. I'm going to record all the episodes. I'm going to see how it goes. And I'm going to see exactly how much time it takes me to go from sitting down at my computer, right, to having all 14 episodes uploaded with thumbnails, titles, descriptions, scheduling, all that. I'm going to see exactly how much time it takes me to go from... Being completely unprepared to setting everything up, getting it running, recording the episodes, uploading everything, you know, having the thumbnails made and, and all of this. I'm gonna I'm gonna see exactly how much time I'm spending. I wanna like log my hours on this, right? So that I can uh, for for like paying myself basically, right? To to see if I if I'm trying to go for full time hours invested into the YouTube thing, how close am I? And I'm not gonna use my uh, my like fancy thumbnail maker bot because I mean, look, work smart, not hard, right? So well, that'll just be time saved on my part. It'll be the same quality that I'd be putting in, right? Like, I'm not losing quality by taking away the time. I'm just saving myself a little bit of time, you know? I'd be doing the same thing if I worked at, uh, like, an office or something. Um, anyway, so I'll, see, uh, I'll see, see how much time it takes me to do all that and how much time this series costs me every single week, which will be very, very fun. You guys won't be able to see exactly how much time it takes me until the following week when I'm able to tell you after I've tracked it all. Because I'm, I'm, I'm giving myself five hours, right? Because 15 minutes an episode, generally speaking. Um, 14 episodes, you know, it's like 140, 210. It's like three and a half hours. And then I'm like, yeah, like an extra like hour for, uh, for thumbnails and titles and all this kind of stuff but I'm gonna log my hours next week not this week so I'm already kind of like committed to not doing it it's too late right but uh, next week we'll we'll see exactly how much time I, uh, I spend on on these videos which will be nice because um, it means that uh, see you buddy Means that I'll be able to get a more accurate description of how close I am, or how much time I need to be spending on um, the thing. And then uh, I'll also for next week, which uh, uh, I'm going to be considering the same like work weeks for uh, please for um, the Yamajack tries and all this kind of stuff as well. Um, that went to heck in a handbasket real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna consider the same work week, so uh, like maybe a day off or whatever. Um, but like they'll all be recorded within a few days of each other, probably. I'm thinking so. Like if I record the uh, the KF2 episodes on Monday, I'll probably record the Yamajack tries on Tuesday. Uh, log how much or whenever I record it. Okay, whenever I record it. I don't know, man. Um, whenever I record it, I will see how much time it takes me to go and record all seven of them and upload them and get the thumbnails made and all this kind of stuff as well and log my hours for that and see how many hours I'm putting in to YouTube every week because I feel like I'm putting in more. I feel like I'm underestimating the amount of time I spend on YouTube. I feel like, I feel like I'm underestimating myself. I still, have, I still have a ways to go before I feel like I'm justified in, uh, in like making a living on it but again I don't need that much money to survive so like I can move out if uh, if I had 600 bucks a month from you but even $400 a month American from YouTube would be enough for me to be like yeah I can I can live on my own be independent like that's that that's that's not a high like that's not a lot that's not it's not a lot of money right like, we're talking probably like 2,000, 3,000, maybe four or five um, at the most thousand subscribers before uh, before I'm making a living on YouTube. And like, that's 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 not a lot, right? And I mean, I say that, I have like 60 subscribers or whatever right now. And you know, you're like, well, 4,000 subscribers is like literally um, 70 times more than what I have right now. So it's, it's you know, 
almost two orders of magnitude <laughs> greater than uh, than what I have right now. Uh, but at the same time, that's that's really not that much, right? Like that's not that's that's manageable, right? I can do that, hopefully. Um. So. Uh, yeah, if I'm if I'm doing that and then I'm I'm putting in the hours that I feel comfortable making money in and living from, then I don't know. I feel like it could be done. I feel like it can be done. Anyway, um, so I have a, a 3D printer. I bought it. I don't know, in like January or February or something like that. And then my computer broke. Literally like a week and a half, two weeks after I got it, I didn't even have time to print anything. I was super excited about it. You know, you get you buy a new toy and you get super excited and hyped and you're having fun and everything's good. You know. No, I want ammo. Um, and then my, my computer breaks, and it was just, it was, it crushed me. It, it sucked. <laughs> um, so I bought a new computer a month and a half later or so, which is, uh, which is what we're recording on right now. And it's, it's nice, you know. I've got, a, I've got a few upgrades left to make on it, and then a few upgrades in general to my setup, but that's that's for another video. That's that's another topic for another day. Um, what is a topic for today, though, is uh, since getting my computer, I still haven't printed anything. I got it mostly because uh, my D&D group at the time didn't have anybody with a 3D printer. So I was like, I kind of want a 3D printer. I'll be the one with a 3D printer, you know? So I, I bought a 3D printer and I was going to start printing off miniatures if people had uh, models that they wanted to print off and then we could like start painting them together maybe and you know have have fun doing all that kind of stuff together right like that'd be fun we have no ammunition there's no ammunition here um, so it was kind of like yeah we can have uh, have some fun doing that then my computer breaks and can't uh, can't continue that for uh, you know reasons um but uh i haven't i still haven't recorded anything i haven't uh, made anything i haven't printed anything with it because uh just i don't have that uh that D, D group anymore the D, D group that i do have is on tabletop simulator so it's like well that's where that's where my time is being uh, mostly spent anyway is uh, is on that kind of stuff and the the logic and the come on reloading uh, the logic and the game and the story and all this kind of stuff, which is also important, but not on my uh, not on my 3D printer, which uh, I was super excited about, and I'm kind of disappointed about that. I might get into it, I might start it, but I don't know. It's uh, it's a lot of work, and I don't have anybody to, to share it with because COVID. So, yeah, you know when COVID first uh, like started really being a big problem, and. Uh, well, the Western world, anyway. Um, YouTube had it, like, censored. Like, if you said COVID in a, in a YouTube video, you'd just be... You, you would, you'd be demonetized. So people were, like, trying to, like, get around it with... Uh, um, the current thing, <laughs> you know? So if you watch, like, videos from back then, a lot of them were saying, the current thing, or, you know, this... Uh, this plague that has been, or not plague, I think plague would have also been um, demonetized, but you know, they were, they were trying to come up with different ways to, to say it because COVID or coronavirus would have got you uh, demonetized. Which is, uh, I don't know, I find, it, I, find it funny, I find it funny at the time because I'm like, you're not stopping coverage of it. Like, people are still talking about it. And why would you want to? I, I don't know, I feel like it, apparently it had something to do with like they didn't want to have people catch realizing on it and and uh, you know being like top 10 ways to not get COVID or whatever right which so much for that but um, I don't know I thought it was kind of funny at the time because people just they had to like find these other ways to get around saying it which was uh, which is always funny or they just wouldn't say it and they wouldn't talk about it and I'm like come on you know it's on your mind you know, you know you want to talk about it. You know you want to talk about it. Come on. Nowadays we can just we can say COVID all we want, 
We can talk about COVID however much we want, and YouTube's just like, I get it, it's the new normal. Gotta go, uh, grocery shopping tomorrow morning. Kind of excited about that. I don't know, I like getting out and doing things. Especially these days, whenever I have an opportunity to go and do that. And, you know, I can't go to the store if I don't have something to do. Like, that's that's irresponsible. I'm not gonna go out and, and do something if, if I have no reason to. I'm gonna you know, go for a walk or something, but I'm not gonna go out and shop just because I wanna shop. I, I have to go and do things because I need to, right? So it's irresponsible. Um, so, uh, that I have an excuse to go out tomorrow? Pretty nice. Tomorrow morning I get to go out and do a little bit more grocery shopping. I'm excited to get to, to do grocery shopping less frequently once my uh, my fridge eventually comes. Eventually. You know, soon TM. But uh, even still, having an excuse to go out a little bit more often is nice. I was going to go out the other day because uh, Walmart apparently had these uh, this underwear that was very nice. And at a good price. And I was like, I'm in. But they don't carry it anymore, so I'm like, hey, I'm in no rush. Guess they sold out. It might have been a clearance or something, but... It's okay. I miss clothes shopping. I like uh, I like being able to go out to, like, uh, a store, try clothes on in the change rooms and all that kind of stuff. These days, the change rooms are, like... You can't, you can't go to a store and try on clothes. For obvious reasons. You know, it's... Comes as no surprise to anybody that uh, that uh, that the change rooms would be blocked off because duh, <laughs> that's that's one way to spread COVID real well, right? Just uh, everybody trying on the same clothes at the uh, the department store. Department store? You try on clothes at a department store? I don't. I try on. I don't know. I gotta buy a new knife too. It's uh it's funny because my uh. The current chef's knife that I have, I was sharpening it the other day, and I'm still new to sharpening, right? Like, I'm not I'm not an expert sharpener, right? But, uh, I, I guess I either over-sharpened one side or under-sharpened another side, but it's it's not even anymore. So when you put it on, like, the cutting board, there's, like, a gap. <laughs> so next time I sharpen it, I'll just have to, to take off a little bit more on that side and... Then you'll take off too much on that side and take off a little bit more on this side and keep repeating the process until there's no more knife left. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, uh, you, know, you take it you take it a bit at a time and just uh, keep an eye on it. Make sure you don't go too far in either direction and you'll be fine, right? It's fine. So uh, next time I sharpen the knives, I'll have to do that. But it's not it's not such a big deal. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, it's not one of those like Japanese type knives with uh, like the flat blade. It's like a curved blade anyway, so you already kind of like rock it fine um and it's it's a dumb blade anyway honestly because uh he's like right above us right it's a dumb blade anyway because it's got like uh on the blade on the actual like metal part it's got uh a little non-blade part it's just like a metal bit that's just like at the uh, the base of the blade because reasons right and, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe it's there for a reason, but all I see it as, anyway, is, um, getting rid of, uh, valuable blade real estate that I, that I could be using. I've been half tempted to be like, hmm, maybe I can just sharpen this into a point with my whetstone. I, uh, I, I don't think I will. Excuse me? Since when do lasers fire through leaves? Solid, opaque leaves. I call bull on that one. Okay, this is, like, unbelievably bad, actually. We may... Aw, uh, if we didn't get bounced up, we might have actually been able to, to survive. Anyway, so, uh... I'm like, I'm just gonna buy another knife that doesn't have that. Because, like, why do you have that? Why is it there? It's just getting in the way of the knife? Because you can't sharpen it, so you can't take off... So you just have this, like, thing that just kind of, like, sits there as the rest of the... It's just, I don't get it. I'm like, do I have to, like, hold it off the, the edge of the counter so that I can use the whole dang blade? I don't get it. So I'm going to buy another blade that, uh, that doesn't have that. 
Uh, that's going to do it for today, though. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, do it if you like, and subscribe to see more of the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.